Ayo tu hara ponawa, na tu kupandure na tango shoi mangura kironga yoe, opo yoganje uyerere moshi wana. Ewa. Mhm. Ia ota tu kakaranga nitua pura e proje tu jotango, njononga nitari ti, why should citizen exercise their right to vote? Okay. Um, it's very important for citizens to exercise their right to vote because um, that allows you to choose intellectual leaders. So... There are many reasons why people should also exercise their right to vote because that is when you can have an impact on what services are provided by government and um, what the leaders are doing for you as a citizen. So it's very important to vote right uh, when you go vote because voting right means um, you have done your research you know the vision and mission of the di different political parties and their representatives and what they stand for. So knowing what they stand for will help you to choose right, to know that if I vote for this person, then I will get this service because you know what they stand for. Mm -hmm. And also when they do not deliver, you can hold them accountable as to say, oh, you said that you will provide this kind of a service to us, but there's still nothing. What is happening? You know? So, in essence, if you, uh, you forfeit your right to vote, this means that you, you don't go and vote. Uh, it means that you can't hold anyone accountable because you have not made a choice of who your leader is. Mm -hmm. Now, how can access to information help citizens to cast informed their votes? Okay. So, once citizens are informed, Mm -hmm. when they have access to information and they know that they are who their leaders are and especially the, the, the political party representatives, all the candidates, they have different manifestos. They are telling you that uh, we will bring you water or running water in your village, we will bring you electricity, we will do away with gender-based violence and things like that. These are promises that they, they make. And if you know what they are standing for, then you'll be able to choose the right to know that, okay, this uh, um, candidate said they will bring water, and this is what we want in our town or in our village. So you vote for them, and then um, that means you are informed. So in, in terms of in elections, really, quality access to information will help the voters and, and, and citizens at large to really just um, vote for the right leaders that will move the country to Vision 2030, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, okay, Ms. Paulus, what does the Constitution say about elections? Okay, the Namibian Constitution is very clear. Um, I think it's our, uh, under Article uh, 46. Uh, where it allows all citizens to practice or exercise their democratic right to vote for their leaders and their representatives, and that is the, in the National Assembly. I think the president chooses only eight people. So uh, when the Constitution says that citizens must vote for their representatives, but also the Constitution is very clear about who can be voted for and who cannot. So it's very important for us as citizens to go through, to read and internalize the Constitution because it, it tells you what these people should provide for you and what the criteria should be when they are being voted for. And, you, and, and the process after elections also, once elections are done, what can be done if these people are not delivering as promised? Mm -hmm. So let us read the Constitution and inform ourselves of those specific rights that are within the Constitution because that is a document that is very important for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, Our fourth question is, how can citizens impact governance through democratic process? Okay. So in terms of impacting uh, uh, governance, um, usually we as citizens we always say that we're not interested in politics I don't talk about politics but when we talk about um, democratic processes we're talking about elections 
We're talking about choosing your leaders who will represent you and holding them also accountable when there's corruption and things like that. So if citizens vote, they'll be able to now hold the, those leaders accountable and they will also get access to services that are usually not within our communities. So we'll be able to really deliver. Mm -hmm. We will be able to get rid of corruption and, and all the maladministrations that are happening. So these decisions of citizens when they vote is not really for yourself also. It's for the greater good of the community because if you vote for the right person, then it means that your community is going to have running water, electricity, because you're going to get rid of these false promises when you have people. I think um, it was elections way back when there were some people saying that we'll give you taps of milk, mm -hmm. of running milk or running cooking, cooking oil. oil. Mm -hmm. But up to now, we, I have not seen a tap in Namibia that um, has uh, running cooking oil and, 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 and um, milk. Mm -hmm. So that is why it's important to listen to these people carefully. And once the elections are done, you need to go back to them and say, okay, you came to our community campaigning that this is what you are going to do for us, but you have not done it yet. Mm -hmm. So that is the, really the, the, the crack of the matter when we're talking about elections. So whether you go and vote um, in November, there is going to be a, a result out of those elections, and it will only play out well for you if you have um, made an informed vote, vote. Mm -hmm. because these are going to be your leaders for the next five years. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to share with Shippy FM listeners by now? Be it well, on elections. It's something that I always um, mention when I come on the show that we, we as citizens, we need to mobilize ourselves and ensure that we have the access to information law as soon as possible. I mean, Parliament has already uh, closed and will only be open next year, mm -hmm. um, but we need to do the groundwork as, as citizens to ensure that this access to information law is passed because this law will help citizens to access important information that they need to change their lives. So if you are on Facebook, write to your leaders and ask them, when is the access to information law coming? Because without access to information, you, you won't be able to make informed decisions. For example, now we don't have an, an access to information law, and I can just imagine um, how citizens are struggling to find that information that they need mm -hmm. so that they can choose the right leader. So uh, that is basically what I had to say. Thank you so much, Shippy FM, for always having us. No, thank you so much, too, Ms. Paulis. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your weekend. All right. Thank Enjoy your you weekend so also. much. Bye. Bye. Elections make a fundamental contribution to democratic governance. And all citizens have a constitutional right to participate in democratic processes in their country. This right begins with your right to vote for your leaders. Join Action Namibia coalition members on Shippy FM as we zoom in on access to information and elections during the month of October. Don't be left out. Tune in.